Welcome to Learning Bite, short job bites of information you get to apply immediately. We're looking at your drive sales culture, how you form a culture so that everybody in your organization understands their role as you drive sales forward as a business. In doing that, we've gone and explored the decisions you have to make, your key clients, what product you sell, who you're best set up to serve and things like that. We've looked at the research that you need to do to be effective when you get in front of the client. So now what we're gonna explore is the letter I, which stands for inquire. What sort of inquiries do you need to make so that you can make the sales process an amazing experience for your client? Now, as we start that, one of the key elements that really struck me as I began to research sales more, do sales more, and actually get embedded into sales is that most people make up their mind that they're gonna buy from somebody or from a business, not at the point where you say, can I have an order, but actually way before that, when you start to ask questions. And so when we talk about inquire, the inquire stage, it's the question asking stage. Now, if you're face to face with the client, particularly the first time around, actually 80% of your time should be spent listening to the client. So you ask great questions. There's this fallacy that great sales reps have the gift of the gab. That's simply not the truth. Great sales reps know how to ask deep and profound questions that they get the customer to open up and show where they need help, what it is that they're trying to achieve, and then great sales reps are able to then show them how the service product company can help them achieve that. So as we start to explore this, one of the challenges I've got for you is does every person in your business just wing it and ask the questions in their way or their style? Or do you have a structured approach that allows you to explore the questions in a methodical and logical way so that you lead your customers on a journey, understand them really well because it's when we understand people that we're able to help them. And of course, this can be used internally as well, asking each other from an internal customer service, you know, how does the sales department help production? How does production help dispatch? How does dispatch help the accounts department? When we get the internal team asking each other questions, seeking to find out how can we help you to be successful, then we create a culture where everybody is there with a common purpose and a common mission. So we're going to be exploring that. Do make sure you ask your team internally so that they see each other as valuable members of helping to create this marvelous customer experience. Look forward to catching up with you next week and here's to your success. If any of this resonated with you and you'd like some help with it, do feel free to get in touch. Drop me an email at mike at thinkright.co.nz or 0272 987 523 or our website www.thinkright.co.nz